Fashion's biggest night is back. And after a COVID delay, the Met Gala glam did not disappoint. New York Live is on the red carpet with the A-listers top looks. Warm and muggy through this evening. Just how low those temperatures go by morning. And Broadway is back. The curtains are rising for some of the biggest musicals. And we have the COVID protocols you need to know before you hit the theater. This is News 4 Now for September 14th. I'm Adam Cooperstein. And we begin with a terrifying crash for parents. A school bus full of kids lands on top of a sideways sedan in New Jersey. Look at this. This happened Tuesday morning near 11th Street and Forest Avenue in Lakewood. 15 girls were on the bus at the time. And the good news is there are no reports of injuries. The bus was making its regular run to a non-public all-girls school. And it's still not clear what exactly caused the crash. This is a true sign of the city's recovery and something a lot of us have been looking forward to big time. Broadway's biggest shows are back. Several hit musicals returning for the first time in 18 months. We're talking Hamilton, Wicked, Chicago, and The Lion King, among the shows that have their opening nights on Tuesday. Strict COVID protocols are in place for audiences. They'll have to wear masks. All adults have to show proof of vaccination. And any child under age 12 will need to have a rapid COVID test within six hours of the show or a negative PCR test within 72 hours. The iconic TKTS booth below the red steps is also back open in Times Square. They'll be selling same day and next day tickets to Broadway and off Broadway shows. TKTS has been closed since March of 2020 because of the pandemic. Now to a News 4 exclusive. A New Jersey mom is revealing how she shielded her daughter from a man who stormed into a doctor's office with a hammer and allegedly asked people if they were Jewish. Jill Gordon says she and her daughter went to the bathroom inside a pediatrician's office on Palisades in Teaneck on Sunday, and that's when she heard a lot of commotion. She says she opened the bathroom door and saw a man holding a hammer. Gordon says he asked her if she was Jewish. She replied, I'm not answering that question, and quickly shut the door and locked it. Police say they arrested 23-year-old Cameron Cole. He is now charged with aggravated assault and weapons possession, but not with a hate crime. I grew up in this area and never in my lifetime did I think that we would be hunted for being Jewish in the pediatrician office. Um, that seems like a hate crime to me. Police say Cole showed signs of mental illness and he was taken to a hospital for a medical evaluation and treatment. A Long Island family is pleading for help to find a woman who just vanished during a cross-country trip with her boyfriend. 22-year-old Gabrielle Petito was last seen in Wyoming's Grand Teton National Park, but her family hasn't heard from her since the end of last month. I just believe she's in danger because I, she's not in touch with us, and she could be alone somewhere. She could be stranded somewhere in the wilderness. Gabby's family says her boyfriend, Brian Laundrie, drove back to his Florida home by himself. Police have not linked him to her disappearance. We have tried, but haven't been able to reach Laundry for comment. This wild video is out of Rockland County, and it shows a massive snake being rescued from a storm drain. That's John Tarrant struggling to free the snake, which he says is a Colombian boa constrictor. Those snakes are usually found in Central and South America, but Sunday night, this one got stuck in a storm drain in Nanuet. That snake was rescued by professionals. It was taken to a friend who has an exotic pet store in New Jersey. Hi there, I'm Storm Team 4 meteorologist Maria La Rosa. Got a little bit of a break from some of the heat and those showers moved out pretty early. So we're left with a pretty decent evening, still muggy and temperatures in the mid 70s around dinner time. And we'll stay in the 70s through the overnight and also rain free, at least for now. We'll start the morning off quiet, but muggy. 71 degrees for the low in the city, 72 in Newark, 68 in White Plains. We'll hit about 70 in Islip, north and west into the mid 60s. It's also to the north and west by late tomorrow that we'll see those showers and thunderstorms. So a big heads up into tomorrow evening. There is that threat where we could get those gusty winds, maybe some of that heavy rainfall and hail with some of those stronger thunderstorms as they move in late tomorrow night. The Met Gala returned Monday night for the first time since 2019. The goal of this annual celebration is usually to stand out and some celebs took that assignment and ran with it. New York Live is on the red carpet with all the looks you've got to see. 
Unofficially, it is the night of nights, the Oscars of the East Coast, fashion's biggest bash. Now, officially, it is the Metropolitan Museum of Art's Costume Institute benefit, usually held the first Monday in May. However, this year is fashionably late. You want to talk about the ultimate celebrity cocktail? Hollywood A-listers, fashion's finest, power players in sports, tech, music, Broadway, and more, all showing up in style in the name of couture, art, and Anna. Fashion is back. Fashion is back. Broadway is coming Fashion back. Is back. Talk to me, how you feeling, darling? I'm, I feel blessed. I'm happy to be alive. I'm happy to be here celebrating life and celebrating fashion. It's it's an exciting time and I'm happy to see you. Tonight, I'm just excited just to be here in general. Like, this is my first one, so I'm like, oh my gosh, what is everybody wearing? They want to see me, look at what I'm wearing. <laughs> I heard the bathroom is the spot. The bathroom is the spot, I will remember that. You want to talk about the Met Gala in a nutshell? We just had the mayor of New York City go behind us, and now I see Billie Eilish right down there. Where else would they be on the same steps in the same night? The theme in America, a lexicon of fashion. Interpretations ran the gamut from elegant to avant-garde and everything in between. Something is about to happen with Lil Nas X and I don't know if we could show you on TV. How does it feel to be out right now celebrating New York and here at the Met Gala? I mean, I'm nervous, I'm not gonna lie. It's like, you know, we were shut down for so long and then to come back on such a huge red carpet and there's, it's like people are here to see Michael Jackson. There's like 10,000 people outside. So it's just a lot, it's a lot of energy. I just have to explain what's going on. So we are here waiting for Rihanna. We've been waiting for a while. We've been waiting so long that people are starting to leave. We just said goodbye to Alicia Keys. All right, I told you guys we were waiting for Rihanna. Well, guess what? She came. This was incredible. They call it the Night of Nights, the Oscars of the East Coast, fashion's biggest night and fashion's biggest bash, and it absolutely was. An even bigger gala is going to be held in just a few months this spring. And for a complete rundown of the hosts, the guest list, the menu, and, of course, more of the outfits, check out NBCNewYork.com and the NBC4 New York app. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you right back here on News 4 Now next time.